Freedom Mining, just changed our name this week, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we're Victoria's latest up and coming brown coal extraction company. Now as any good journalist will tell you, the truth lies somewhere between scientific evidence and vested interests. So if, in the interest of restoring the bias to this disturbingly rational protest, Quick Coal has invited me here to present the other side of the story, the forgotten voices of mining magnates. I'm just going to say straight off the bat that this has nothing to do with the funding that I poured into Quick Coal last week. So I've got to say, they're certainly the cheapest organisation I've ever bought out. All I had to do was offer to pay for their weekly supply of pita bread and hummus, and they were all over me. Now obviously the CIA hadn't been doing a great job providing previous illegal funds for them. But anyway, let's debate the facts here. Here's the truth, undistorted by science. All coal is good coal, especially new brown coal. Let's hear a chance saying that. How about that? No, that's, that's right. We'll move on. Now, we've got these greeny farmers from Backers Marsh moaning about losing their food bowls to brown coal. Well, look, if they're really upset about the whole food bowl thing, we'll dig the ground into a bowl shape for them and they can eat coal out of it. How about that? Bloody ripper, everyone's a winner. No, I'm, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Coal actually provides you with all the nutrients you need in a balanced diet. It's the new golden rice. It's got 1,000 times the recommended daily intake of cadmium, boram, sulfate and arsenic. So get some of that in you. Yeah, bloody ripper. Coal's good for me, it's good for you, it's good for babies. So, in fact, at one of the hospitals excretum funded over in Western Australia, we actually conducted a trial where we only fed the babies coal, and they turned out fine. Well, to be more specific, they turned inside out, vomited up in guts and died. But I'm pretty sure the CIA was behind that one. I mean, wake up, sheeple. Haven't you read the internet? Now, I'm a climate sceptic, and I've set up an online sceptic think tank to counter the myths of global warmism, which is dead in the water, even if that water is rising. As we all know, global warmism is a conspiracy theory created by German zookeepers to bring more attention to their celebrity polar bears. It's just political correctness gone mad. The real people who are suffering are honest, toiling billionaires like me. These mining and carbon taxes are just tearing mining families apart. Look at poor Gina. Just look at her. There's not enough to go round between her and her kids. What with all these taxes? They just turned on each other. It's a national disgrace, that's what it is. I mean, poor Gina can't even, even buy 20% of a shilly, shitty little middle-of-the-road newspaper like The Age. It's terrible. But what really worries me is the professional protesters challenging economic progress and blocking new coal. It's time to un unmask the conspiracy and expose these national traitors, like the Country Women's Association of New South Wales, actually a secret coven of radical lesbian eco-terrorists. Or Ken Smith, the state Liberal MP who came out against coal seam gas. He's actually a CIA-funded reptilian from the moon. It's on the internet. Read it. Thank you very much.